I say go ahead and follow, hit that subscribe. Marley Motors, yeah, you know it's getting live and high. I mean, getting live and hot up in this bitch, cause I'm a gas out. All I do is hit the fucking gas and just dash out. Yeah, and I don't play around. When it comes to these cars, you know I put in that work now. Yeah, I'm trying to show you what I got on the YouTube. So hit that subscribe and like on my YouTube, man. Bye bye, Firebird, man. Gonna go and get rid of it. Got somebody coming up by it now. I'm gonna pull up with the trailer. But yeah, gotta go and let it go. Move on to bigger and better things. Might come across something back again, especially through who I'm buying it from. Cause that's all they do is Firebirds, F-Body, Camaro types stuff, but yeah. Like I tried changing the um the head gaskets and stuff, so all the other stuff like the upper intake and all that stuff been clean. It's just I think the heads just was clogged. Yeah, probably. But yeah, I've been canceled the plate, so. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I said, I don't, I don't know if y'all gonna be able to use it. I said, I brought this offline, but this like for a V8 or something. So, like this little thing, thought about it. Yeah, I so probably, shit. actually I'm, I'm about to build uh, a V8 car too. Yeah, yeah, you can go and get it. I wanted to get it um, engine swapped, it's just that I ain't had time for it. That's the um the rim that's back here, it got a, a decent tire on it, but this the rim that I flat on the interstate with, so should Yeah. see today is a new day you heard me yesterday i had to say farewell to my old car you heard me my firebird you know my car that got me into cars so fucking hard you feel me i ain't gonna even cap i had to go ahead and say goodbye you hear me but sold it back to its original owner you know it used to belong to his wife you feel me? He was telling me stories about she drove it in a ditch. They had to pull her out one time, you feel me, and shit like that. But, yeah, you know, it's going to a good cause. He's going to put it back on the road. It's going to be going to his daughter-in-law now, you feel me? So he's going to drop another engine in that mud, you feel me? Put another bump on the front, and she's she going to drive it as it is for the time being. But... Yeah, man, they got a lot of good parts, a lot of new parts. So, shit, it should be A1 when they get on that road, you feel me? So, yeah, man. 
I'm gonna miss Firebird, no cap. But gotta gotta start, you know, planning. You know, my next project gonna be on the road. It ain't really gonna be that much of a project. I'm like I like doing cars so much. Everything's a project right now. Mr. Reliable is a damn project, but you know, yeah. But we gonna get the G over here on the road and at least get it to driving where I can drive it. You feel me? Cause it's driving, it runs and shit. It's just I need to get this paperwork done, get it on the road, get it to driving so I can go ahead and finish up on huh huh. Uh -huh, I got a lot of little knickknacks. Of course, with the body work, as y'all can see, that the body work need that window on the other side, need the front windshield. You know what I mean? AC, etc., etc. Well, you know this one. I got it to okay. You feel me? So shit, we gonna rock with it like this and see what it do. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, Project Firebird is out. Hopefully, I can run across me like a, um, basically like a Trans Am WS6 or something later on in the future. Because, shit, I always wanted to do a V8 build on that, just that F body style car, not no Camaro, but, you know, a Firebird. So, basically, I'm going to eventually find another one down the line. I ain't going to say. A year from now, year and a half. It all depends on how I'm sitting, where I'm sitting at. You hear me? But shit, it will come back. You hear me? But yeah, man. Just sad, dog. Sad to say farewell, but yeah. Hey, I had that car for a long ass time. I had that car since, I don't know. I don't know how long. I had that car for a long time. Probably like six to seven years. You heard me? And out of that six to seven year period, I say I only drove the car for like a good three and a half years. Cause, and like, that's just back and forth. Like, I had it sitting out for like about three times for at least a year, strong, solid. This was going on a little bit more than a year for the first time, but shit, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I can't have it sitting out no longer. And then it wasn't even at my house. I see if it was parked right there, you I see. And I see if a nigga was, you know, gonna be in here for a while. You hear me? But, yeah, I had to let it go. But we got some plans coming. We got some stuff coming. I know y'all ready for this G35, ooh, I mean G37 to be on the road. So shit, we finna handle that business, get that right, and get y'all some more content, bring y'all some good content, something that y'all will wanna watch. And then slowly get Han Han back together. But remember, Han Han daily right now. But I'm trying to make the G37 semi daily keep Han Han on insurance and get Han Han right so it can be Han Han gonna be the serious project build G37 already got majority of you know aftermarket shit you know race type shit to get it right you feel me got a full exhaust you feel me got the cold air intakes you heard me the right ones the ones that go all the way to the grill not them hot air hot air intakes you feel me so yeah you know and look wise it's still it looks actually good you know what i mean i'm gonna do a little some some just to sport it out a little more but shit look wise it looks actually good so that's how we gonna do it and then shit hi huh, huh, gotta get the full exhaust i want to go cold air intake I got to take all the front back apart of this, off this car, like real shit, all the front radiator support, all that drain, the, like drain the cool and everything. I got to take all that off the front of this bitch because it need to be readjusted and stuff like that. It's going to take a little time, but shit, I'm going to have a time. You feel me? I'm going to be ready for it. 
So yeah, but so long, Firebird, man. I gotta keep saying it. So long, Firebird. Y'all just don't know. I've been through some shit with that car. Down to when I first got it, you heard me. Just, you know, work aspects of it. You feel me? Suspension, exhaust, like the hangers was gone and shot on every part of the exhaust damn near to where my motherfucking uh, muffler, tailpipes and all that just was kept falling off. Had to, you know, scrap it in there, you hear me, some type of way. Just to, you know, drive it. But yeah, I had got all that shit fixed. Exhaust welded, new exhaust headers, all type of shit. But I gave it, I gave it away, basically. You can say I gave it away. I sold it, but I ain't sold it for much. You feel me? It's coming, like, I ain't gonna lie. I sold it. I ain't sold it for much, but shit, I feel like it was given for a good cause, you feel me? And then it's going back to the original owner, and I know he fucks with them F-bodies, them old school Camaros and Firebirds. So I know, I know it's going to be in good hands. I know he's going to put it to work. It's going to be back on the road in no time. You hear me? It's been sitting on my bro y'all feet uh, probably almost two years. So it's going to be back on the road soon. So I couldn't let it just sit there. You heard me? I'd rather it be running. I'd rather somebody put it to work. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it was given away for a good cause. All the good parts going to go in good hands. Somebody going to have them a freshly good car with no problems, saving money on a lot of shit. <laughs> But, yeah, that's that's a blessing, you hear me? You got to get them blessings to people. Because, see, you never know when you're going to need a blessing and it just come out of nowhere for you. You hear me? Like this car, you feel me? I was looking for a car to flip real quick, you feel me? Ran to that bit. It was so cheap, I could not look past it and then the damage that it did have i knew i was gonna be able to you know fuck it up you hear me so shit i went on ahead and went with my move got that bit and now look at it i ain't even selling i'm trying to keep it I'm crazy but yeah good things have come huh had to get the car you heard me so for my birthday i can't get my truck but I might can get something else to, you know, flip. I was just here, man. Just the price gotta be right. The price gotta be right. You know what I mean? If the price is right, it'll be straight. It'll be cool. It'll be go to. You feel me? But the price gotta be right. Yeah, man. Just had to. You know, get y'all a little video. No, I ain't posting a while. So shit, got y'all a little something, a little update, a little yeah with the yeah on what I got going here, feel me? For sure. It's been a lot going on. But yeah, man, got rid of the bird, dog. Better things to come. But yeah, we out here. Lil' bro told him what's up with, no, nope, we just flush shit I don't need no friends, who you miss me with that fuck shit I've been trying to catch a bag, but now it's the legal way Pay stuff, documents, copping all of that legal pay Yeah, I know how to work from angles, scooping over with Now I work my wrist, ain't talking drugs until fixing shit Don't drop me out, all the motors don't play around And my J's getting dirty like Boozy, which wipe me down In school, they act a clown, I choose to go my own way I ain't seen much, but still tall just like a grown man Feeling like why? 